What's going on, smart people? Right off the bat, what's going on? Did Andrew get a new door? No, I'm in a hotel. It's very nice. All of the stars came complete with its very own books on mathematical physics, deep and elastic scattering, and math methods. I wish all the hotels had this. I'm in Charlottesville right now on very super secret physics business that I can't talk about at the moment. But soon we're going to pick up a very super secret guest who's going to tell us all about why we're here. In the meantime, I'm going to be working on some internship stuff. More specifically, my professor gave me some exercises to work through so that I can build up my uh, familiarity with certain concepts of special relativity. Things like using light cone variables to calculate uh, transverse momentum, things like that. Because my project inherently has to do with scattering. And when you're doing scattering, you have to keep track of all the things that are changing momenta in different reference frames. So that's why he's making me do these kinds of exercises. But I don't want to bore you. I know the important question is, who is the special guest? Neil deGrasse Tyson, perhaps? No. Could it be Kip Thorne? No. It's Kelly. Hi. Here with Kelly. I'm not going to say your last name because don't people will... People will find you. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I came here with Kelly because she has a meeting and I want you to tell me a little bit about it. Right now? Yep, right okay. now. Do it. Uh, it was for my internship. Um, we was pretty much just talking about like what the project is that we're going to do, but it's actually two projects, so a lot of work to do. Um, is it related to your last internship at all? No. <laughs> okay, so her last internship was studying galaxy formation based off of hydrogen, different hydrogen levels? No, it's just Hi neutral hydrogen, but it was um, basically looking at how like the group size, the galaxies come in groups, and how the as the size changes, how that changed, how much hydrogen the galaxies had. Right. Okay. And and so that's not what you're going to be doing this time. So no. what's this one entail? <laughs> it's still radio, although I didn't really do anything with radio observations last time because it was all simulation data. But um, okay, so it's two parts. Hold on. He just told me about it, so. I'm you so should have heard me there. trying to explain my internship. I was like, well, yeah, you've got nucleus and you smat. I don't know, I just heard about it today. Stuff, yeah. Um, so basically the first project that's supposed to be kind of easy is there's this star. It's actually, I guess, a binary system because one's um, going around another one, basically. Um, basically they just want me to uh, image the data because this... I guess they put an image on the paper, but that's I not... I can put that on yeah, there. That's not really, I guess, what it looks like. So there's data, and then I'm basically going to take it and image it into a picture so we can see like what's going on. Um, it's a I think, red dwarf around a white dwarf, and the white dwarf has jets coming out, and there's like pulsing going on, so they kind of want to just understand that better. Um, so the first one's just going to be using cost to image it. Cost is a... I don't know if you can like... An imaging thing? Yeah, it's an imaging software um, for astronomy. The second part is, so there's so many acronyms. Um, so the VLA has an all-sky survey that they're doing. Um, so the VLA is a bunch of radio telescopes and depending on how you situate the telescopes determines how much resolution you can get and how big of a sky coverage you can get. Um, it's called interferometry. So they gave me this nice giant Bible very concise oh my to God. read. Um, I only have to do like the first six chapters, but he said even that would be like a lot to do or too much maybe. Um, <laughs> I have to learn how that works and then um, basically I'm going to look at this image that's already in the survey. I don't know if it's in here. And I have to try and figure out what's the best way, I guess, to get higher re resolution, you can probably put this image on there yeah. too. Higher resolution, there's little dots here that are brighter that you can't see them. And so with the VLA, I think it's VLA B. There's so many different acronyms. <laughs> VLA B. Anyways, um, that's the one that has the higher resolution. So basically I want to look in at those small dots and try and, um, it's pretty much like a, a experimental kind of project because we don't know if this is going to work but they want me to look at those smaller areas and 
I just so you're taking like the understand. darker spots of that plot and you're zeroing in on those or are you trying to see if there's other brighter spots in the, in the plot? I'm zeroing in on the bright spots of this okay. picture. What do those correspond to? Radio sources. Okay. So it could be a galaxy, it could be a star. How does that uh, relate to the expanded. to the binary star system? Or, or is that the binary star system? No, this is complete, these are two completely separate projects. So oh, okay. in... And he told me this is supposed to be like 10 weeks, but apparently my internship is only eight weeks. Um, so I'll have to be working in double time or overtime or whatever. Uh, so yeah, a lot of stuff going on. Oh, I guess he gave me VLBA observations. What does that stand for? Very large astronomy, very large like astronomy. Base array or something like that. It doesn't have what the B stands for. Oh, there's a B. <laughs> Very large. Well, VLA Blastronic. is the very large array, but um, so the VLA double S is the all sky survey. That's the big survey that has like the individual tiny little sources, and then the VLBA is what I'm going to use to look at those individual sources in higher resolution and kind of like see how they look. Or they should look something. I don't know if you can find the picture. Yeah, here. You can put that up there too. <laughs> what does this correspond to? This is a radio source. Um, this is actually one from the VLA. So this is a, a galaxy and at the center you have the black hole and then um, these are the jets of the black hole. They kind of run into some kind of medium in space like within their group or wherever oh, wow. they're at and they kind of get that pushback. That's why they're kind of like coming out and then bending back a little bit. But um, so basically I guess uh, you use radio to look at these galaxies and it kind of tells you about the dynamics and the energetics of the system. Um, so that's basically all I've gotten so far from this meeting. When do you start this officially? I'll be here, back here in Charlottesville June 3rd. So... Oh, coming up. Yeah, but then I'm also going to New Mexico in a week to get like uh, skills that I can use for this, for a workshop. So if you guys are interested in astronomy, apparently Charlottesville is a good way to go. Mm, now, so this is NRAO. Aren't there different locations around? It's not just located in Charlottesville, right? So the right? NRAO, um, their headquarters is here in Charlottesville, but they are in charge of the VLA, which is in Socorro, New Mexico, Alma, which is somewhere in Chile. I'm not sure what region or whatever, and um, Green Bank Observatory, which is West Virginia, so that's probably the closest one to here, and I'll actually be going to visit Green Bank um, first week of my internship, I think. We're all like taking a trip up there, so by the end of this I'll have visited Green Bank and the VLA. Very nice. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm so excited. I will leave a link in the description so that you guys can find out more about NRAO if you're interested in astronomy-based physics. Uh, Kelly just got accepted relatively recently into an astronomy program, so a PhD program for astronomy. So that's pretty exciting. So she knows her stuff now. <laughs> well, before this sort of ad hoc interview comes to an end, we're going to show you guys a cool little bag that Kelly wanted to make sure that we showed you. And are you? Yeah, I was walking out of the building and uh, I saw my favorite person in the world, Lindell. Um, she is actually the one that got me all involved with the NRAO and. Um, just really helped like keep me in contact and reached out to me about this internship and everything um, And she's just a really sweet lady uh, She's been helping take care of me while I'm doing research with the NRAO and she gave me this bag And I was really excited about it um, For my giant book that I had to carry out of there But we're gonna end the video here. Thanks to Kelly for telling us all about her meeting with the director of NRAO and telling us a bit about her next internship let me know in the comments section, once you get to this point, do you think you'll go more the astro side or the physics side, or meet in the middle and do some astrophysics. I'll see you guys there.